Hello everyone and welcome to the latest Material Energy 4 episode. So we've finally got round to updating the pack. It's added there's a few updates and additions. Um, one of the main ones is called Aura Cascade. Uh, this adds in a load of new amulets and so on. For example, let's go to the protection amulets just to show you. And it, we've got uh, red protection, orange protection, and so on. And you would no doubt that these do things like fire, explosion, and projectile. And we've also got a flying amulet, which I've been trying to uh, make, but I realized I needed quite a lot of aura, as you can see. I'm nowhere near making that, so. I'll probably have to come back to that. And I've also been doing a few bits and pieces around my base. Like, I moved all the farms downstairs here. As I wanted a bigger area. And eventually we'll get the end IO farming manager set up. But right now on the quest book, I'm not quite there. I done a couple of quests here. I more I've done this one here recently and I it's just given me this new one here. So we'll probably make this soon enough. So let me have a look at that recipe. So we're gonna make that. So can we make this now is the question. It looks like I should be able to make this straight away so let me get the ingredients I need and check I have got the uh, I have got electrical steel, good. Right, let's see if we can make this then. I think we're short on... Let's see, can I make that? Yeah, I can make that. And one of these. And there's our vat. So I'm not sure how this is set up. So I'll have to mess around with that. So we'll put this down anywhere for now. I'll just put it by there, out of the way. Use the brew and IO liquids. And we can right click on it. And let's have a look at the recipes. So we've got hooch, rocket fuel, fire water. So there's about four different recipes we, we can make. Don't know what they do in effect wise but probably have a look at that so that should have uh, updated the quest oh I got no boom I should have updated that quest but for some reason I can't claim that uh, maybe I gotta uh, have it in my inventory let me check that oh, that's strange Okay, maybe this is a bit bugged or something. It says I can complete it. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, it's been detected and it should have opened up the next side of things. So we'll put that down until we can fix that quest. So next we got auto crafting. And auto crafter can help save some time. Right, so a crafter is made. Right, so I need some of that again. So I, I got some uh, s soul stuff, I think. Let's have a look. I think I made a Z logic one earlier. Yeah, I did. Okay, see me making that. And we need a another one of these. So let's make that. Now we need the middle bit first. Let's grab that and let's make that now. And we should be able to make this now. I just need the Z logic there and a crafting. So I need some wood. Let's grab four pieces of wood. I haven't got. Let's grab that. Two. I'll do this over here instead. 
I'll put two of them in there. I don't know why that said benchmark in there. Uh, we should be able to make that auto crafter. So look at that. Powered auto crafter consumes power per operation, can be upgraded to increase speed and energy storage. So I'll put that there for now and I'm gonna have looks like I'm gonna have to rewire all this later on. So that should have updated in another quest now. Uh, can I clean that one yet? No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> What's next? So, now ah, finally we got the farming station. So, the farming station can plant and harvest crops in an area that can be upgraded with better capacitors. How it require the use of tools depending on what it is harvesting. That's going to give us a couple of rewards there. And let's see, can we make this? Uh, farming. Ah, there's a problem now. We haven't got any of this. I don't think I can make this yet. No, I need to end the pearls for that one, so we're a bit stumped on that for now. But at least we're uh, getting closer now, so I'm not sure what to do about that one. But we'll work it out. And I definitely got room in my inventory. I see 10. Could be what it is. Yes, that's what it was. So let's make room in the inventory. Let's see. Go on that soup. Put them away. Put them away. All that away. Should be able to claim it now. Yeah. I had a feeling that's what it was. So that's going to give us loads of hooch or whatever. So why don't we pick a barrel to put it all in. We'll let's get some room here first. So let's put it all in one of these and we'll put all them in there. So we got hooch and that. Let's just get them all set up here. Uh, which one was this? This is hooch, so that's going to go in there. Right, uh, let's just finish off this last one. And we got some spare buckets then, and I could reprocess these if I wanted to. Now, we're a bit stumped now. We've got to make our way into one of these spacious cells. I think we'll go for the witch water, because I've noticed that there was a tank in the nether sphere. So why don't we open up that spacious cell and take a look. And I'll show you where I found a, a big huge tanker of witch water. Let's see now. Let's take that out of there. I was, oh, I think I've got mine as the lights loaded. Yes, I have. You may notice that I got my map back in the corner. So let's dismantle that. Okay. We'll put the miners to light back in. Oh, nether sphere, sorry. So put that back in. And let's activate that. Okay, that should work now. Let's get back up to the observation area. If it lets me, come on. There we go. Right, let's head in there now. Now to find the witch rod is really simple if you know where to look. It's underneath this level here. This is the main bridge from when you enter the spacious cell. If you go around the back here now and dig about in this spot here, you'll I've placed a trap door already. You'll find that there is witch water tank absolutely filled to the brim with witch water. So let's place that down there. And I've got to get myself 10 buckets of this. So let's grab them now. I'm probably going to have to... No, I'm fine. Right, let's have a look at the quest now. Let's check my inventory. Should have updated. And we'll have a load of stuff for mob killing, I think. Let's have a look at the quest book. So we're going to have conveyor belts. Another reward bag, so let's claim that reward. Cool, right. Now let's put all these into my drum. 
Oops. And I'll probably grab a load more of this. I don't know whether I need to grab all of it, but I did notice in the middle of this storage area for the witch water, if you look down the middle of this somewhere, you can just about see it. There's a chest. And it's right in the middle of the witch water, so we've, somehow we've got to lower that down, but it's going to take quite a while to get at it. So we'll leave it there for now, but at least I know it's there. But if you got the time to do it, just go ahead. Why is that done that now? Let me just update that. Okay, that's gone a bit buggy. I don't know what's happened there. Looks like my pickaxe has been nerfed somehow. I don't know what's happened there. Anyway, let's grab that back. Well, actually, yeah, we'll we'll take it with us. So let's head back up now and let's see what else we're gonna do. So we got that with the scanters. We need five with the skulls, do we? Mm, so let's go to our storage and check how many we've actually got. Okay, let's see skulls. We've got two with the skulls, so I'm gonna have to hunt a bit more of them. So to do that, however, we need a specific tool to do it. So like my current weapon hasn't got beheading on it. So we need a weapon to increase our chances. And I did have one here somewhere. Or will I have to make one? I think I'm probably going to have to make a cleaver. i got a wooden cleaver. So is that, that should have beheading on it. Chance to behead 20%. So we'll take that with us. And have we got any others? So we've got a hatchet with beheading. What's the percent on that? Uh, don't think it's got a good percent on it, but we'll try this one instead. It's not the best of weapons. It do well, it does 14 damage, surprisingly. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to go and hunt some with us a second. So I'm gonna go down to the level in this the you know, the sphere where the witch water is. And I'm going to go and head and kill myself some wither skeletons. So I'll be back once I've claimed a few skulls. Well, I managed to get two wither skulls so far. So I'm just waiting to kill some more. Not sure if I'm going to get any. So I've just been standing here waiting for them to come to me. And oh, there's a deadly skeleton over there. And just killing them with this. Oh. Did we get it? No, we didn't get it that time. We got lucky. As you can see, the skeletons are coming my way. No, nope. still no luck. So I've got a bit of work to do, but we did get two of them anyway. And I don't think there's a way you can convert them over anyway. Just have a little look in here. Nope. No, well, we just have to keep keep at it, and eventually we'll get that skull. Oh, what's this guy here now? Let's see if this last one here is going to give me my skull. Nope. Oh well, I'm going to carry on killing here. And I'll meet you back up the observatory when we got that last with a skeleton skull. Well, that seemed to last a long time. I was there quite a while trying to get those wither skulls, but we did manage to get the ones we needed. So we got another two in here. So let me just grab them guys. So that gives me five of them now, which allows me to update that quest. So we're going to get some reinforced obsidian, splash potion, and a reward bag. So let's claim them guys. 
And Ooh, that's the fun bit is the wither fight. So once I get three with skulls and four soul sand, I can summon a wither and fight it. Should drop some pretty good loot. So ooh, division sigil, that's gonna be handy. I better off using a sword that has a lot of smite in it. Well uh, if we look at my sword here now, where is it? We've got 1.53 hearts on that one and 2.5 other oh, spiders that is yeah so we've got our sword here ready to go and it's got ha life steel as well so that should be coming handy so it looks like we're gonna have a wither fight coming up in the next couple of episodes I'm not sure where I'm going to do the killing but we'll have to have a look at that right so let's uh, do a bit of sorting and carry on. Okay, so we've done a couple of quests in today's episode and I thought it'd be about time we poked ahead in the next spatial cell. So I've opened up the inclusion chamber four and there's certain quests related to this, like the fallen knights and these guys I think are not gonna be very friendly by looking at the description of those fallen knights they don't look friendly at all so yeah we've got to get in there and we've got a couple of quests in here like we've got the quest for some more of this Ericlium and there's another one here for I think the saplings are in there and so look at this we've got x mites and there's probably a few other little hidden secrets within there as well. So we've got to try and secure the first room first. So why don't we grab a block in here. Let's grab, say, any old thing we'll do. We'll just grab some of that because I want to block that first corridor. And we'll need to light this up a bit as well, I think. So let's light this first room up. Whoa, that's a fast creeper. Blimey. Okay, so we'll have to deal with that guy. Whoa, yeah, he's pretty fast, isn't he? Oh, he's dead, right. So what did he drop? He dropped some TNT. So let's block this off. Just like that, perfect. And let's have a little look at what's in here now. So we might as well put the torch for there. So we don't want to waste any of these torches really. Oh, let's put them, let's get rid of that one. Whoa, <laughs> he took me by surprise. You sneaky little, oh good God. They are sneaky little swines, aren't they? Just let him burn there a second. He's not even going to let me in, is he? Thank you. So we're going to look out for that as well. Especially those baby zombies. Uh, are we safe now? I think we're safe. Right, let's go forward. And let's take a peek. Uh, that must be one of those fallen knights. No, that's, this is a zombie. Well, let's block that off a minute so I can take a peek around. Right, so... This is basically, looks like, it looks exactly the same design as the other inclusion chamber. It just it uses this void stone block. And there is lots of death in there. Lots and lots of death. So that's going to be, this is going to be more difficult than normal because it looks like they've all got speed buffs on them. I can see them all running around there like maniacs. So let me see if I can... Uh, well, we'll have to deal with a few of these guys, I think. Let's get a torch in there. Alright, so we're going to have to secure up the first room, if I can. Okay, let's do this. 
you. Right. First things first. Ah, that's what our problem was. Oh, oh, oh. Phew, that was close. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty mean and quick and all. So let's get some torches in here. Well, that's a fallen knight, right? Let's see what kind of damage this guy does. Oh yeah, they're pretty mean. Right, so... Oh god. Let's see, we need that quest there, so we've got to kill ten of these guys. And even we've got ranged versions as well, so, oh my god. They do not die easy. So, it's just gradually work... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he come from? Sneaky! <laughs> so the glass is a problem. I'll just gradually work my way forward until we get to those spawners, because that's where our main problem is. Whoa! Uh oh. Right, let's put the block over there, because uh, it looks like we've got a ranged. Night with explosions. Okay. Alright, how's that buck doing? Let's have a look now. So we've got seven. We've only got a couple more to go. So let's lock that off. Oh my god. Work our way forward slowly. Oops. Oh damn, I hate it when things like that happen. Oops. Uh oh. Done it now. And I just gone and hit myself with with a that was <laughs> really clever. Sweet to that let's wait for that to run out, right, thank you. Now we're almost there. What I gotta do is get those spawners. Which is gonna prove to be difficult and it should clear out this level here. Right, have I done this quest yet? All killed, right. So let's block that off for a second. Cool, right, let's head back and I gotta drop off a few of these items a second. So let's see what we managed to get from that lot. Let's drop in loads of swords and stuff, armor, TNT. Let's put those potions away because they're quite dangerous in the wrong hands, especially mine. So <laughs> we'll leave them in there and the chisel. We probably, we'll probably drop off a few items because I don't really need them right now. I'll take that with me because there might be something in there. And we'll drop the bone arrow as well. I'll leave that in there. That should do it. And we'll leave the skulls in there as well. Just so I know where they are. What was that? XP boost sword. So I think in we'll secure this level up and we can carry on with the rest in another episode, but let's make sure we can actually get close enough to kill these guys. Oh, they sneaky! Oh yeah, that's really good, isn't it? <laughs> right, so I. Should be close enough now to get rid of this ranged uh, zombie here. Right, let's see now. If we. Ah, there's a problem. We got cursed earth, so I need to get rid of this. Uh, 
And I'm putting soul sand down because it slows you down, so it should come in handy. And let's put some torches down and let's start hitting these spawners here. There's one. What did we get it? Fallen Knight. Right, so we let's claim that reward anyway. What is this sword do? A godlike sword, which has got eight attack damage. And 4.5 hearts. I oh, will try that. What's that compared to mine? So it's a little bit better than the one I got, but what's the repair material? Black steel. Hmm. Alright, so we've got to get past these now. So let me put down. Let's quickly dismantle this. Whoa, there's still a load of, there's still a load of guys in here, but I think we should be alright now. Let's try this. Yeah, I think I better do that. What is that made of? This that's just a normal sword, is it? Right, okay. Let's clear out these guys. Oh, wow, this sword is really good. Let's get the last one here. Nope, he's not. He's not gonna let me, is he? So let me move back a bit so he moves around. Okay, I'll have to back up a little bit because he's not going to. Too friendly for me, right. Okay. Let's advance. I think we should be alright here now. Let me get some torches in there. And once we got this secure, we should be safe. I need. Oh, I didn't see that guy by there. Let's grab that. Phew, right. Now if I move forward a little bit... Uh-oh. Move back, move back. That was a bad move, bad move. Uh, uh, right. Secure the ends. Phew, right. We should be alright, apart from the baby zombies. I need to... Put a bit of dirt in this bit, because I won't be able to get out otherwise. Why can't I put that down? There you go. That's more like it. Now, let's dismantle all these guys here, because they're causing me no end of problems. And that's the way down, so we'll block that off a minute. Now, we've got leaves over there, and I just got hit with something. What did I get hit with? Looks like there's a witch in one of these, so we'll block off these until we're ready. So we let's go that way. Okay, so this bit's secured. So what are these void stones? So we'll uh, just do this just in case anything untoward happens. So we've got a load of knights up there waiting for me. Right, this area's secure. Let's see now, which way should we go? Let's take a peek. We've got trees over that way. And what do you got down here? Oop. Uh, put some slowness in the corners. Right. Now if I do that it should be all right now. 
Right, so we've got these guys here. I've got to somehow get in there. Whoop. So we'll keep doing. We'll keep doing the same. We'll fight our way forwards, and I can't get forward because the guy with the bone arrow is after me. So we just leave them kill each other a minute. Let's carry on. Let's see now. We need to secure this bit. So if we just push our way forward like this. We should be alright now. Okay, I better block that off. Okay, let me get a torch down there. There you go. Now, I need to block the end bit here quickly if I can. There you go. Alright, so we've got a bit of cursed earth in there. And another night. So let me put a torch there. Alright, so let's get some food first. And in case you're wondering why the food is doing that, it's because I've got my crazy pants magnet on. And it always does that when you do that. So I think we'll try and see if there's any spawners. Any spawners? Nope. So, it looks like these guys are on ladders, so let me just see if they can actually get up here. Doesn't look like they can, so let's see if we can get that guy to hit one of his, his mates. Nope. <laughs> He's proven to be stubborn, that guy, but there, so... I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. What's my armour looking like? It's alright. Alright, I think we should be alright now. Let's do this last guy be here now. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. So I came back to try and claim my loot, drop down the ow, a lava bucket, just to kill off some of these guys, but there's one particular arrow guy that's really making things difficult. I just want this the guy to go into the water. Where's that bow and arrow guy? There he is. So I need to grab another bucket of lava and see if I can fix that guy. So let's go and grab another one. Which way was it? This way, wasn't it? So I did have some lava in here. I think I'll grab another two buckets just in case. Oh, I messed all that up. I just grab two buckets. Okay, and just go and collect them. Alright, let's hope this deals with those guys. So let's just get back there. And it was over here, wasn't it? So I'm gonna try and do that. That should do it. I think that should deal with them. Yep, 
Yeah, now the only problem now is trying to get over there. So I'm going to have to move this lava around a little bit, I think. That's it. It's falling the lava. There we go. Oh, there's another tunnel over there. I didn't see that. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Let's grab two of these blocks, because I'm going to need to block that off. Sharpish. I don't think there's any more guys over there, I hope. This could be a problem. Let's grab that bucket back. All I want to do is get the lava to go in the middle there. Oh, I want to go down a little bit, they do. Let's see if I can get it. There it is, right. Okay, so if I do the same with that one down a bit, I'll put it, say, up there. Okay, so I should be able to get down there now. Let's grab these blocks back. Gold. Right. Let's block that off. Get that torch down. Get rid of this stuff. Oh god, there's a spawner. Um uh, where's my where's my tombstone quickly? The wrong one, I mean my grave. I need to get rid of that spawner soon has. Uh where's my where's my pick? <laughs> Phew, right. <laughs> That's uh secured that up. Now let's get rid of these last two cursed earth here. Are we all secure here? Nothing can get at me. Good. And we've got a ladder over that way. So, yeah, that was fun. But we pushed forward a little bit and we got there. So, what have we got in here? Let's see if we can condense all them down. So, we've got ourselves some inscriber logic presses. And I think that was part of one of the quests. Let's put my armor back on. That might help. That's what I get. Let's have a look at the quest log here. So, inscriber presses, and we need silk presses, engineering presses, and calculation presses. So, yeah, we've done a little bit there, but we're not completing this cell yet, so we're going to have to probably push forward another day. So, let me just uh, get my sword ready here. I think I can push forward a little bit down there. So let's secure that. Luckily, I only just managed to secure that. I thought something was going to spawn in here. What's down here? Oh, good God. All manner of nasties down there. Let's see if I can uh, get forward a little bit. Yeah, I think we're going to have to come back here another time. So <laughs> I'm going to secure the end of the tunnel by here, just in case they manage to climb up there. There we go. And we'll leave the episode there for today. It was a bit of uh, fun there, losing my stuff. And we did manage to get back here, but I think we need to put these ladders back. So let me just do that first. Here we go. So we should be a bit secure here now. And we'll come back next episode and try and push forward a little bit more. Because this place is absolutely huge, we'll look through it. 
And let's see how far we can get. So I'll see you next episode.